Now, you may see commercial autonomous vehicles on the open road sooner than expected as developers gear up for trials with passengers. At least one of them is aiming to make such vehicles a key part of the public transport system ahead of a 2022 timeline set by the authorities. But they will still have to look deeper into issues like commuter experience and infrastructural needs. Gwyneth Teo has the story. It won't be long before you'll be able to use your phone to hail an autonomous vehicle in Singapore. Self-driving startup Newtonomy has already rolled out a pilot in Boston, and the island state may be next. Newtonomy is testing its technology in the high-tech One North district, and it's moving towards commercialization, which it feels it can achieve before 2022. When we commercialise something uh, to really see how this technology will affect the end user, how it will you know, be used at the final stage, what's the whole customer experience like from when someone takes up an app to book it and the car comes, how's the, how does the customer communicate with a car without a driver? You know, how, what are all the, the, the little details that go inside? Newtonomy is now looking to expand trials to residential and commercial areas. It believes public transport will be improved with autonomous vehicles on the road. Rather than just having scheduled routes or fixed routes, you know, you know um, we could basically make use of um, data that we get from people to do demand prediction, to do dynamic routing. You want to make sure that every vehicle you have is always uh, ferrying somebody around and to minimise any form of waiting time that people would have. Indeed, why wait? Elsewhere in Singapore, the future is already here. I'm at Gardens by the Bay, where the attraction is running Singapore's first fully commercial autonomous vehicle service. I'm here to find out what lessons the auto rider may have for the rest of us. The auto rider has been running for the past two years. For $5, it transports visitors from the closest train station to the main dome attraction. And its operators have insights to share. When it comes to air conditioning, of course, when the vehicle arrived, because it's purchased in Europe, I would say we had to do a little bit of adjusting because, of course, we have different climate situations here. The rain here is actually obviously very different to, like, Europe. Uh, when you get torrential rains here, the vehicle would, as such, probably detect the rain as an obstacle and would not move. Homegrown technology may be the solution to such issues. At another attraction, Sentosa Island, the Transport Ministry is overseeing trials of a vehicle built by ST Engineering. By mid-2019, the vehicles will begin taking paying passengers as part of trials. We are interested in gaining insights on whether infrastructural requirements are needed uh, in terms of uh, whether you know, uh, facilitating the deployment of AVs on a larger scale, but also enhancing safety for other road users and pedestrians. The infrastructure could be things like the way roads are designed, uh, but potentially also sensors that we put on uh, roadside infrastructure like lampposts. After the trials in Sentosa, the developers will bring the technology to more complex environments.